hysteria. It may bring madness, but you must trust the cards, for they know the truth. This evening, we will be using the Crow Tarot by M.J. Cunanan. As well. final cut. Focus all of your energy into the deck. Ah, yes. Right there. We can now begin. successes that brought you to your present place. We have the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands represents a time where you got drunk and tried to ride a horse, but you accidentally rode into a river and banged the horse into a large uh, stump or tree post of some kind. Drowned that day. A reminder to you always be weary when imbibing alcohol, even if it's day drinking, even if the river is shallow, and even if you have a well trained horse. Your present, which contains the mysteries of your current state. The Nine of Cups. state. You do way too much shopping on Amazon Prime. Simply look at all of these cups containing numerous items that you do not need. Multiple orders of apples, of berries, of flowers, of figs. You've ordered duplicates of extremely large sunflowers. What, what will you do with those? They'll do nothing but take up space in your living room until you inevitably forget to water them and they'll die. And above it all is the all-seeing crow who knows beyond his ages what the future will bring. He looks to the sun and judges you for having no self-control over your weekend shopping sprees. We move on to the future. A knowledge that only the cards can sits alone on a branch, like that time where you got really, really messed up at that cookout, and they asked you to leave, but you couldn't find your keys, so you just kind of sat outside on the curb, alone. This is a warning. Heed this warning. 
yourself. Take the entire thing down a step, and you'll be much better. Now, as I mentioned, try to contain the discomfort that these precise readings have most likely brought in to your small, narrow-minded brain. I fully understand that this level with you.